from the nutrition stands out there. We we gotta have a conversation, y'all. I I have to ask a question. Why? Every way I've looked at it, it just doesn't make sense as the optimum choice, no pun intended, for your protein supplement. So let's talk about some of the objective markers we should use to evaluate this. The first one, I mean, we really got to take price into consideration. Price is key. And it's honestly something I hear a lot of people talk about when they're considering a protein. And that's fair. Protein prices are getting really expensive. It's important to try to make sure that you are making every single dollar that you spend count, right? Fair, that makes sense. Two, I think it's important to consider the actual value of the product. So not the price in this particular situation, but what are you getting for the dollars you're spending? Cause that matters. I mean, there are differences out here, grades, levels to this shit, if you will. And I think really when it comes down to it, that's one of the things that really baffles me about this particular product. Um, and so, you know, let's, let's just break it down. Let's, let's sort through this. So the first thing that always boggles my mind when it comes to optimum nutrition, gold standard way specifically, is that when it comes to what it is that you're paying for, you're paying $119, all right? 109, almost 120 bucks, 119.99. You're paying for a tub of protein. The first problem I have with that is the fact that the vast majority of them come in at 24 grams of protein. Do any of them come in higher than that? No, not a single one of them. All of them, 24 grams of protein per scoop. That, that just seems, that seems a little steep and wrong. Most of the protein sitting at that particular price point either need to be providing somewhere in the realm of 27 or more grams of protein per serving, or they need to be providing you with some other benefit within their, their actual formulation, something else, some other draw. And Optum Nutrition just doesn't have anything. Wait, is this, is this still in our formulation? Oh my goodness. Wait, so lactase isn't even in there anymore? <sighs> All right, y'all. Like, again, I can't, I don't know how we have in this conversation. This seems wild. So we have no, no help in terms of allowing your body to digest any lactose that might be in here more easily. So I don't know how that's a thing. We don't have any probiotic added, which, I mean, Isogold has. And that's coming in at about the same price point. And you're you're getting 27 grams of protein with isogold. And you're getting lactase added in there as well. Plus probiotics. <sighs> so you're not getting lactase. You're not getting probiotics. You're only getting 24 grams of protein per serving. Add on top of that the fact that you're not even getting an isolate, like a pure isolate, what you're getting is a composite. You're getting isolate and concentrate and hydrolyzed whey protein, of course, sometimes. I don't know if this is all of them or just this one, but hydrolyzed whey protein, at least for the vast majority of them as well. I don't, it, with the benefit of that, it doesn't, it seems negligible at best, pointless at worst, and a waste of your money. So, you're not even getting a pure isolate for that $119. And then to add insult to injury, ew, are you 130 calories and still only a 24 gram protein serving? Ew, chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate peanut butter is an absolute fucking travesty is what that is. But I digress keeping our feelings out of it. We're just gonna go with the facts of the scenario. The next thing to consider is the fact that you're paying $119 and you're only getting five pounds of protein. A five pound tub for 119. When you can go to other companies and get six pounds for 119. I'm 
going to use ISO gold again as a comparative example here. It's just really easy to slap up gold standard when you compare it against ISO gold. 27 grams of protein for ISO gold, 24 for gold standard. No lactase, no digestive enzymes of any sort, and no probiotics for gold standard. You get lactase and you get probiotics for ISO gold. It just, it, it just seems weird to me, but the icing on the cake actually comes from something else within their ingredient profile. Something that they admit to in their ingredients, which is whey peptides. Now, I don't know how many of you out there know about the concept of amino spiking, but amino spiking is a practice wherein a company will say uh, a certain thing is in their product. They'll say like, oh, we have amino acids in our, uh, in our product. We have extra amino acids in our protein. And all they're really doing is adding a bunch of cheap amino acids. They don't really do anything to help with muscle protein synthesis or muscle building and in the end only really serve to artificially pump up the protein content or at least what the analysis shows is the protein content of the protein without actually adding any full amino acid profile proteins any complete proteins to their product so just to say whey peptides you're admitting to just adding what could very well be random nonsense because there's no, they don't tell us specifically what peptides, they, they don't tell us what or why. It's just whey peptides. And you're paying $119 for a full pound less of this with at least three grams of protein less per serving no lactase to help digest the lactose in it, make it more digestible and easier on your stomach, and no pro probiotics to help with the gut microbiome. This is what you choose to put your money behind. This is what you choose to purchase. So I gotta return to the original question. Why? 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 I don't, I genuinely don't get it all right i do not understand so here's what i'm asking from you my viewers please if you're an optimum nutrition stand if you're somebody who just loves optimum nutrition stuff oman is your jam you're not going to buy anything but gold standard it doesn't really matter what anybody at any store tells you it's always going to be gold standard then you please drop a comment tell me why i have to know why after the things I've just told you. Oh, by the way, I've created a spreadsheet to analyze just where this sits in terms of value per gram of protein, because I think the only fair breakdown is to actually assess it via how many grams of protein it has and how much you're paying per gram of protein for this product. And it sits at a whopping 6.83 cents which is some bottom barrel, low tier, D grade trash, if we're gonna be honest. And the ones that sit towards the upper end are sitting in the neighborhood of approximately 4.7 to 4.9 ish cents per gram of protein. That's the cost, that's what you're, you're getting out of this. So it doesn't have great value. The price isn't good. The product is Eh, at its absolute best and at its worst. It offers you nothing in terms of extras. You're not even getting that much when you compare it against other proteins. And you're not getting a deal. You're not getting a break on the price. So what's the appeal? Why would you pick it? So, I return to the original question. Why? Terry, would you do the honors? Why? And if you know, if you're an optimum nutrition stand, if you're somebody who it doesn't really matter what anybody says, it doesn't even matter what I've just said, everything I've said to you just doesn't even matter, not even kind of, then you should please head down into the comments. Let me know, tell me why, I gotta know, inform me, educate me, because as it stands, with all the evidence I have laid out in front of me, all of the objective information provided to me 
as to what this product is, what it provides and how much it costs, it doesn't make any sense. It's an absolutely ridiculous purchase when compared against other products which prove themselves by objective metrics to be vastly superior. So yeah, you gotta, please explain it to me, educate me, because I have no idea. I'm lost on this one. I don't get it. Anyhow, that'll do it for this video. Uh, I don't know if you got anything out of that. Hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully you were educated by this. Hopefully you found it entertaining. Maybe you can educate me if you're one of the ON stands out there. Let me know why, how, what, because I, I gotta know. Uh, drop those comments, please. If you're not an ON stand, if you're an ON hater, also feel free to let me know why you hate it. If I didn't mention why, if there's something else there that I don't know about, something else that you feel or you know about that you think I've missed, drop it in the comment section below. And of course, stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place. We all shine together. Peace.